Right, well this video is entitled What a Man Expects from the Woman He Is Dating. I've talked a lot about what women expect, uh, how women can be turned off men and lose their love for men, but it isn't always one way street, is it? A relationship is a two way street. So it's also about what a man expects uh, when he's dating a woman, not just about what a woman wants and what a woman expects. So here are 11 things that a man expects from a woman during a dating period. Number one, honesty. Right? He wants you to be honest. Don't lie. Don't uh, say something you believe in when you don't believe in it, just to please him. Just be honest. If your point of view disagrees with his, doesn't matter. Yeah, just be honest, just be open, just be frank. Don't lie to please him. Because in the end he will find out and then when he does he won't be pleased with you. The second thing is dress well. What I mean by that is if a man is taking you on a dinner date okay he's going to be looking well he's going to be looking after his personal care uh, high oral hygiene yeah he expects you to put on some sort of a dress or something that looks you know highly presentable you've spent time in front of the mirror just looking good uh, not necessarily for him, but, you know, just as, as it shows your self-esteem. You know, if you're dressing smartly and whatnot, it shows that you want to look after yourself. This is a good picture to be showing a man, okay? It's not just for him, to for his lights to go on in his head, right? It's also for you to show that you've, you're a woman of self-esteem. Number three, say thank you. Very simple, yeah? If a man uh, buys you a meal and he pays... Say thank you, thank you for the meal, okay? Don't be lying about it. Don't say, oh, thank you for a great evening in your presence if you don't intend on seeing the guy again, yeah? Don't lie like that, but just thank you for the things that you did enjoy. Oh, thank you for the meal. Thank you for walking to me to my car, yeah? Okay, thank you. Right, number four, show an interest in him. This is one that is can be very easy to miss some women go go on dates with men and they expect the man to do all the interest showing they expect the man to do all the talking uh, and they expect the man to be asking all the questions okay and soon the man runs out of things to ask the woman and he's run out of subjects to uh, go on about okay a man understands that you don't want to hear all about him all the time he, he understands that you know you want to talk as well, you want to show an interest in him, you know, and if you, you like a guy and you want to date a guy, show an interest in him. Ask him a few questions, you know. Uh, make your questions a bit interesting. Think about what you want to ask him, yeah? Um, and then, you know, obviously if he doesn't want to ask you questions, then obviously that doesn't work either. But if he's showing an interest in you, and he's showing that he likes you and, and wants to get to know you, then why not show an interest in him? It's not like you're saying, I, I really fancy you by just simply asking a few questions, is it? Number five, don't compare him to other men. Okay, don't talk about your ex-boyfriends. Don't say, oh, that guy over there is fit. Yeah, and just ignore him. This is rude. Men don't like being compared to other men. So don't do it when you're dating him. Number six, don't act bored. Don't act like you're falling asleep, even if what he's saying is boring you, right? Don't act like it, okay? Just be tactful, yeah? Just don't act like you're bored. Act like you're having a good time at least, yeah? It doesn't mean that you're necessarily leading him on, because at the end of the date, you don't necessarily have to hint at another date. You know, you can always make up an excuse not to come to a third date if you suggested one, and he will get the message, okay? Number seven, don't lead him on, okay? Don't say you enjoyed his company if you didn't enjoy his company. Only say you enjoyed his company if you did, okay? Don't say, oh, uh, you know, you've got really nice smile if he hasn't got a nice smile. You know, only say what is true. Don't lead him on. Don't make him think he has a chance with you if in your own mind you've already decided he has no chance whatsoever. I mean, there are circumstances where... Uh, you as a woman have not made up your mind about a guy and you want a few more dates to find out whether you really like the guy then you can lead him on a little bit 
Yeah, but even then, just be careful not to hurt his feelings by leading him on. Eight, accept his chiv chivalry. Yeah, accept that chivalry isn't dead; it's just gone on holiday. So when a man opens the door for you, just accept it. Don't do the feminist thing of, oh, why are you opening the door for me? Oh, I should be treated the same as you. Why are you opening the door for me? Yeah, just accept it. Women are different from men. Men understand this, okay? If a man opens the door for you, just accept it. If the man pulls a chair out for you, just accept it. It's being chivalrous, and chivalry shouldn't be dead. Number nine, don't play games. Yeah, don't play mind games with him. Um, don't sort of act like you like him when you don't, or or act like you don't like him when you do and I mean there is a t uh, uh, an opportunity to be a bit mysterious and perhaps you know hold your cards close to your chest there's a lot to be said about that but that shouldn't come into playing games uh, and um, not being truthful and honest yeah number 10 don't be texting all the way through your date when he's trying to talk to you yeah it isn't uh, a very good thing to do yeah it's very rude yeah and I don't expect a man to be texting all the way through a date he has with you so don't do it with a man if someone texts you check the text afterwards if it you're on call or something and there, there's an emergency you might be texted let the man know at the start of the date okay yeah number 11 don't bring your best mate along to a dinner date now Please understand me here. If you've met a guy on the internet and you're meeting him for coffee for the first time, you should bring a friend with you. Yeah, it's the safest thing to do. But if you're going on a second date, you already met the guy, you already feel somewhat comfortable with him, and he's going to take you on a dinner date, for goodness sake, don't bring your best friend along on a dinner date. Okay? Now, if you're uh, someone who believes that uh, someone who's dating should always be chaperoned, fine but don't suggest dates that are dinner dates yeah be chaperoned to a coffee date be chaperoned to a day out at a theme park be chaperoned uh, to anything but a dinner date yeah if a guy's gone to an effort to set up a meal uh, set up the ambience don't bring your best friend along to to ruin that for him yeah if you don't think that you shouldn't be chaperoned then don't suggest dinner dates if he does suggest a dinner date say to him in advance well I'm going to be chaperoned and then he will suggest something else well usually anyway I don't think a guy would be dumb enough to set up a dinner date knowing that the girl he's seeing is going to be chaperoned there okay so that's my 11 uh, things that a man expects from a woman during a dating period thank you for watching